By the end of this year, 1,500 Danish farmers will have killed 15 million mink for their fur. Anna's Christensen has already been killing for a month and knowing the demand for mink fur is growing, is now planning for expansion next season. It was uh, 8 November we begin. And uh, we have in this season here, we have to kill about uh, eight, eight and a half thousand because I need more female for the next year so I can be, have a bigger farm next year. As his farm grows, so does the workload. And for the first time ever, Annis has had to hire permanent help to get the mink from the farm to the pelting factory in time for auction. We can, we can take about 1,000 uh, one day. We, we begin with the white and pearl, and we finish with the black. Uh, it's about one month between them. He says that farmers understand the importance of animal welfare because mink that are healthy and happy means a better quality fur, which means a better price at auction. We uh, try to do all what we can. We watch the mink each day and see if there is some uh, sick or something is wrong. And if there is that, we take care of that. Like nearly all mink farmers in Denmark, he has an open farm policy, allowing people to come and see the mink for themselves. He hopes that this will help in the fight against claims of animal cruelty made by animal rights organisations like Anima. I don't like them. Uh, they, they don't know what they're talking about. They're talking about a lot of, of uh, hurt, but I don't know where they have found it. It's not that my farm have found it. Mm -hmm.